Do you have an NVIDIA GPU in your Linux box? Well, firstly, I offer my condolences. Nobody should be forced to live through that. But regardless of the questionable drivers, you've probably heard of an application called Green with Envy. This is a GUI utility for doing things like monitoring your NVIDIA GPU, controlling your fan curves, and even doing things like overclocking. If you're on Team Green and you're a Linux gamer, you're a tinkerer, or just someone who wants to push their system to the absolute limits, this is an incredibly useful tool. If you're over on the AMD side, you may have heard of an application called Core Control. In many ways, this is a very similar application. But Green with Envy has a bit of a problem. The current maintainer is stepping down from the project. And not just stepping down from the project, not going to be using an NVIDIA GPU anymore. Most probably my next GPU will be an AMD card. If that happens, I won't be able to provide adequate support for this project anymore. For this reason, I'm looking for new maintainers. If you are interested and have adequate knowledge of Python, and ideally GTK as well, you can reply to this issue. And I'll get into why the creator is leaving NVIDIA in just a bit. So far, two people have stepped up to potentially maintain the project, those being Nick Black and another person by the name of Johanno. But reading what is being said here, neither of them have the full skill set required to properly maintain the project. One of them is more of a front-end developer, and the other one is more of a back-end developer. So at this stage, they're probably going to be working together in like a dual maintainership situation to make sure the project has any chance of survival. Now, my current GPU is an RX 570, and when I buy a new GPU, it is also going to be an AMD GPU. I don't know if it's going to be a 6000 series or if I wait until the next generation. Either way, it is going to be an AMD GPU, not an NVIDIA GPU. It works great on Wayland. I don't really have any issues with it whatsoever. So for my day-to-day -day use, if Green with Envy just becomes abandoned wear and stops working on modern GPUs, it is not going to affect me whatsoever. With that being said, I also have this platform just doing pretty well and is close to 40,000 subs. And I know there's a lot of people out there in the Linux space that really rely on Green with Envy and want it to keep working long into the future, long into the future with modern GPUs. So I wanted to do my part and sort of get that message out there and see if there's anyone who wants to step forward and keep working on this project. So if there is anybody out there who has this skill set, even if it's not as like a full-time maintainer, just as someone who is committing to the project, trying to address features, even basic things like documentation, all of that stuff is really going to help out. Now, as for the original maintainer, he posted about leaving the project over on Reddit, and someone asked him, hey, just out of curiosity, why are you switching to AMD? And gave this long response explaining all of his problems with NVIDIA. I just got tired of feeling like a second class citizen due to being an NVIDIA user on Linux. I want to check by myself if with AMD it really is a better experience, like many on this website state. And it's not just on Reddit, but basically in every area that discusses Linux, people are going to say that AMD GPUs are a better experience. And that may or may not be the case, but it definitely seems like it is the case if we're talking about Wayland specifically. As for gaming, that I can't really say. Some examples of what I mean in a random order. Got tired of Nvidia completely ignoring the performance issue with Steam VR. I haven't checked recently, but even if now it worked perfectly, it has been broken and ignored for years. I've never used VR on Linux, but from what I've heard out there, VR is just generally flaky. I don't know if it's specifically worse on NVIDIA. As I said, I haven't tried it. Wasn't able to enjoy playing Red Dead Redemption 2 due to random crashes with ER GFX state. As far as I know, it's very common on NVIDIA cards and all the fixes suggested online that I tried didn't work. NVIDIA Linux drivers exposing less features than the Windows counterpart. Do you want to control the voltages of your NVIDIA GPU on Linux? Too bad, you can't, because the NVIDIA API on Linux doesn't allow it. But people keep asking for this feature in green with Envy. 
G-Sync, Linux, and Multi-Monitor, again, broken and ignored for years. He doesn't mean this as individual options, he means a G-Sync multi-monitor configuration on Linux. You can do all of these things independently. If you have a single monitor and you're running G-Sync, works great. If you're running Linux, hey, you can run Linux. And you can do multi-monitor, also perfectly fine. But don't try to do all three together because you're going to have some issues. The NVIDIA API on Linux feels like something they hacked together years ago and are now too afraid to touch. You want to control the fan speed of your card. The only way to do it is via the NVControl XORG extension. Too bad that you can't use it on Wayland. Do you want to control the power limit of your card? That's only available with NVML and requires root permission, while all the stuff with NVControl don't if XORG runs as root. It's just a mess. Some things require NV control, others NVML. If you use Wayland, you lose all the stuff that requires NV control. And for anyone curious, the NV control XORG extension is basically a way to hook into the NVIDIA control panel API, and then NVML is the NVIDIA management library. And lastly, also didn't like at all how for years they prevented clock controls from open source drivers like Novo. One thing is just not giving a damn about open source drivers and letting the community do everything. Another thing is actively preventing the community to develop working drivers. And the TLDR of all of that is basically, I got tired of feeling like a second class citizen. This is a big part of the reason why I really hope the Intel desktop GPUs actually do really well, because like AMD, Intel is very cooperative with the Linux kernel, and they actually dedicate a lot of resources to make sure things are actually working properly on Linux. Sure, there are certain things they do like their weird webcam stuff that isn't working straight away, but over time that stuff does get addressed, and Intel is trying to help out. But this video isn't about me bashing NVIDIA, I just want what is best for the user, and if more competition means we get better drivers on Linux, hey, that is going to be good for everyone. And surprisingly in this thread, everybody is supportive of the developer. Nobody's saying, how dare you leave this project? You must always work on it forever into the future without being paid anything. They understand the fact that this dev is going to go on to do other things, and that's great. So I wish the best of luck for any of the new maintainers who may work on the project, the ones who've already taken up the position, or anyone who sees this video and decides they want to go and do so as well. I hope this project goes strong into the future, and as I mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link to the issue in the description down below. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Have you used Green with Envy? Is this a piece of software that you rely on? Or is it something you're only just discovering now and hope it goes well into the future? I would love to know. So if you like this video, remember to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Sonic Bear, pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over T. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robson Plays. That's going to be it for me. And I'm out.